Alrighty, as you can see, we just did a copy of my bill of lading because I only had the one copy. We are now about to do our ace. So that's the advantage of having a little printer in the truck. As long as you have internet connection. Let's see if Chrome will work properly today. It don't work properly lately a couple of times. Let's see if it went through. Okay, so we don't want to... So we'll go to home. There we go. Um, I don't want it to show that. Oh, I'm not going to show you guys that. No. Why is it doing that? Add Gmail to your Google account. Oh, because I'm signed in the wrong one. That's why. Okay. I got a sign out. No, nope, we don't want that. We want this one. There we go. Because I was signed into the wrong account. So that's why it's not working. Come on. Quit screwing around. Network cost awareness. Norton Internet Security has switched into economy network usage mode because current network connection is metered whatever come on the fuck man oh I hate when it takes forever I know the internet connection isn't the best here that's why there we go sign out and we gotta sign in to the correct one can't show you guys the password that would just be ridiculous okay so now we will go to our gmail account there we are and there we go and there we go Press the print button. And we're going to press the print again. Oh, look at that. Not fancy schmancy. And it does a really good job, too. To me, it was well worth the money. Just because of its compact size. And it's actually running off the battery right now. I have, haven't plugged it in in forever. Uh, I've used it over and over and over again on just the battery itself so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna press the off button we're gonna let that puppy shut off but there's my manifest so I can cross the border I got my copy of my bill of lighting didn't we madam huh we went out and did the, the peepees and all that other stuff because you did it no don't you're not going again you were just there don't get all excited Oh, now it's got to do its little cycle thing. So it won't close. Oh, now it did. Okay. So we push her back into place. And she doesn't want to go because everything moved. There we go. Now she's sitting in there nice. Uh, i got some receipts here i got to clean up. Unplug the USB. Put you guys there for now. We sit. What the heck did I go with my... The heck did it go? What's going on here? Ay, ay, ay. Wrong freaking cord, Jerry. Dumbass. Where the cord go? Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yep, that's it. How did I get this tangled up? Anyway, just wrap her up, stick it in behind, put the TV back into position, put stapler back in front, put the cream back in front, put the mouse, oh we need the mouse there for a second, 
that there that there and we can close that down and disconnect from the internet I don't know how much you guys are seeing. Oh, there. Now I've readjusted you. Nice, Molly. There's Molly. Look at Molly. Molly, Molly, Molly. Good girl, Miss Molly. Yeah, turn the camera. So, we are in hit by Tilbury. Just before Tilbury. At that service plaza. Put the mouse there. Close the laptop. Put the mouse pad thingy up there. Put this box. What the heck have I done? Oh my goodness, Jerry. Put that back like so. Folds the table in. And we are done. Yeah, time to head to the oh, Ready, we're at customs and there's only one truck ahead of us. I think it's only one, but mind you, he's sitting back a little ways, so. Hoping it's only one, but anyway, we've got a load of scrap aluminum. I'm thinking we might get pulled for x ray because I know a lot of the scrap trucks get pulled for x ray. So, I'm gonna keep our fingers crossed that we don't. You'll be the next to find out in the next clip because I'll mention it. Yeah, well, here we are. I guess I was wrong, we made it through customs, which is good. I like being wrong when it's that. But I thought for sure. Because I know I've seen others with scrap loads that get pulled in for x-ray. But Alright, we're at our little rest break. 30 minute DOT break. Lunch time. And it's over. We are here at the Michigan scale. We're getting ready to rock and roll. Oh, oh nice up the middle peak. Oh, Kenworth, sorry. I'd be wrong. Didn't look at it too closely. Anyways, lunch break is over. It appears while we were on break, that opened the scale and they'd be rolling them across. But we don't need to worry about it. Oh! We're rolling. Next stop, Walton, Kentucky. Well, we'll be stopping in between for Miss Madam, but yep. We're gonna go as far as Walton, Kentucky, and that's where we're stopping for the night. Decision. Alrighty. Um, issue up ahead. Again, another accident. This will be the second detour we gotta make. But we're gonna and the phone's right. We're gonna get off here, go through uh, Union or through uh, Troy, Ohio, and then we're gonna work our way down. Alrighty, we're done for the day. Hey madam. Where are you going? It's all wet back here, long grass. Not the best place to park. <coughs> and the freaking garbage is back here too. Freaking terrible. Drivers, 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 drivers. I don't freaking get it. Why do you have to throw your garbage out on the freaking ground like that? It's a garbage can right freaking there. And there's just shitloads of garbage here. And it's all blown over into the other side of the fence now, but. There's some on this side. It's crazy. I don't get it. I don't get it, eh, Ma? We don't get it, do we? No, don't, 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 don't eat the leaf. Don't eat the weed. You don't need to eat the weed. We've had a pretty good storm roll through here, though. I don't know what the hell this thing is on the back. I don't know. Odd looking frame. Oh, it's a sprinter type deal. You know, weird looking frame on it. Oh, well. What can you do? Hey, madam. We eat some grass and we're going to go have some din din. What do you think? Our detour worked out really well for us. We actually probably saved a shitload of time on that one. That was an excellent detour. So, see, this is another reason, too, I watch, guys, when you back up. His isn't so bad, but a lot of times this is why you end up with ripped off mud flaps. Because you can see he's got a pretty decent space between his rear tires and where the mud flaps are. But when you back up to the curb like that, you can see how mine are. Mine are really, really close to the tire. So if I back up to the curb, you stand a really good chance of ripping off the mud flaps. See, this guy didn't back up to the curb either. But, yeah. But when you do that, the, the mud flap catches, and if it's 
mounted close to the tire like his isn't so he's he's actually pretty good he's lucky but on a lot of trailers they're really close to the tires and then the mud flap gets caught between the tire and the curb and you end up ripping off mud flaps that's how mud flaps get torn off okay you done eating grass can we go in the truck now come on let's go in the truck come on doopy come on doopy head let's go have dinner all right we are in walton kentucky yes sir that's where we is at the J. We are 95 miles from our delivery, which has to be done by 11 o'clock tomorrow. I think we're going to make it. We need to turn on our air. Oh, it's muggy. It is muggy in here, huh, madam? Let's get our air on. And let's get ready for dinner. What do you say? Ready for dinner? Want to get ready for dinner? Yeah, of course you do. 